side, rising tensions between Russia and Ukraine may seem like they're happening a world away, but economists are concerned we could see major impacts right here at home. And tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross is closely monitoring this tense situation overseas. He joins us in studio with a closer look of how this could impact all of us in Colorado. Eric. Allison, good evening. As the world continues to wait and wonder whether Russia will invade Ukraine, government leaders and economists are preparing for the worst. That's because an invasion could have a far reaching effect that could be felt right here in Colorado and quite frankly around the nation. Soaring gas prices remain a big concern. Russia is one of the world's largest suppliers of energy and a conflict will likely disrupt the marketplace even more. That's according to business analysts. President Joe Biden has even threatened to shut down a new natural gas pipeline Nord Stream 2, which runs from Russia to Germany. In addition to that threat, the White House has been warning for several years now of the possibility that Russians could attack internet systems here in the United States. If Russia doesn't like the sanctions that would be imposed on them following an invasion, a cyber attack is a quite big possibility. The White House says another fallout we could see deals with a tumbling stock market and major hit to people's portfolios, which have been on the rebound from the COVID-19 pandemic. The Dow Jones fell 600 points today and the Nasdaq dropped 407 points. By the way, thousands of American troops have been sent to countries like Poland to shore up defenses. In the event of an invasion or increased tension elsewhere, more American troops may need to be deployed to different parts of the region across the world. The U.S. is part of NATO, a military alliance that is required to protect each other. Poland is part of NATO, but the Ukraine is not. So putting that into perspective for you, this is why American troops aren't actually going there. Allison.